Tonight, six more robots compete for a place in the grand final. So buckle up, let's meet our first team. Bucky the Robot. Biter Bot. Rapid. Flipper. Traction. Crusher. It's battle time! Robotiers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. I love Josh Bauman's commitment to engineering from the Team Rapid side. I know Traction are committed to sending them out as we have Fog of War straight away and that confuses things. Fog of War used tactically under the cover of it. What will happen? Who will emerge victorious? Who will be befuddled? Well, Traction seem to be going the wrong way. That's dangerous territory. They caught on the huge spikes. Oh, no, we're done. That was because of Fog of War. Now they've been intercepted away rapid. Oh, they're flung out of the arena. So the Fog of War was key in the battle. Wow, this is a flipper that can lift the transit van. Well played, well played. Well played. They've had three weeks experience attraction team against one of the world's most accomplished team of engineers in Rapid. We're now after Bucky the Robot. Oh, nothing after Bucky, no! False teeth so far. And we know what false teeth look like in a cut by grandma's bed. Ugh, not very nice. Anyways, my nightmare is that. A rapid underneath Bucky the Robot now, playing piggyback. Rapid looks much better than when we last saw them, when they couldn't perform the repairs on their heavily armoured boss in the, in the pits and they had to pull out. Great attention, great focus, and well done, Bucky, until then. Oh, no. Uh oh can it sound right? I can't see them though self-righting from there because they're pinned on the... <laughs> They have a chop on the arena. Oh, brilliant. Well done. Come on, Bucky. Well done. Bucky the robot. Well, they are the, the neutrals favourite here. What a strange looking machine. Rapid in underneath Bucky the robot again. It's got a high ground clearance just about everywhere, to be honest, Bucky. And they're doing really well, and they're still in there, entertaining. Just expose a ground clearance there. Missed. They have the pneumatics running at 60 bar with 120 millimeter poor ram, and they can create damage. And Bucky is a little bit oh, skew if there, a little bit buckled. Is Bucky the robot? But they're doing really well in terms of control. Steering out of trouble on, oh, steering into Matilda. Can they get away again? There's Mo, we saw a quick shot of Mo Hosseini up there. Maintenance engineer and electrician in his time. Oh, can they self right there? Might be out of gas. There's no more gas in Bucky. No more nip of those gnashes. It won't matter though, I think. Are they going to be saved by the bell? If he goes for full three minutes, it'll go to the judges. Rapid, they think they've done enough. Cease is called. It does go to the judges. Oh, just in time. You did good. Well done. I feel sorry for the traction team. Well done. Oh, look at the little faces. Well done. It's a unanimous decision. <laughs> Prepare to be surprised for Rapid. Well done, buddy. Well done, Great fight. Rapid goes through to the semi-finals. The two losers must fight again to stay in the competition. Time for our next group battle. Apex, Spinner, Vulture, Overhead, Spinner, Terahertz, Axe Bot. Three, two, one, activate. Terahertz immediately in to slam Apex on the 1200 millimeter bar spinner. And they're locked together in a dance of doom. Terahertz is on form. Terahertz with the control, the experience there of 18 years experience fighting in arenas. John Reed and Nick Lynch. Down goes the Dial of Doom. 
And we have the fog of war. Critical in turn in the China battle in the arena. It's a gamble to hit that doom dial, but the fog of war can give Roblox a moment to launch a sneak attack. A great additional hazard this series, I think. At the moment, it seems to me that Apex and Terahertz were leaving Vulture alone. Now the tactic has changed. Down comes that big blowing hammerhead of Terahertz. That axe can travel 180 degrees in half a second with 1,200 newtons of force on the end. But the stuff that ram him into a wall. They are stuck, which means that Terahertz can push across the arena floor. And he really knows what he's doing. John, a little bit of pressure on the team in the last series. Who was in control of the weaponry? The rules. <laughs> oh, come on! Apex have come to play simply to hold Vulture on the flame pit. They might be scorched themselves as Shunt comes in. The army's actually dead now. Have so we lost drive. drive? Yeah, we lost drive on one side. They're quick Vulture, they can get across the arena floor at 16 miles an hour. Very aesthetically pleasing machine. They're all into art and design. Adam works at a 3D printing company. But at the moment, the design for them, I'm sure, will be simply staying alive. They're not moving. They're not moving. If they're immobilised for 10 seconds, they're out. They have to be able to move through their circumference. They're just about... Oh, I don't think they are now. It's not moving outside of a... It's no, not, no, it's, it's not. not. I think they are immobilised. Vulture. Vulture looks a little bit to me like a Robot Wars budgery car out there. Vulture, are you sure? Terahertz and Apex don't care. One shot. I think they've gone. This is good, keep moving. Terahertz, the only machine out there for me really creating Terra Apex because of the new weaponry, largely untested. Oh, it's <laughs> for animal. Just as I was heading for shots. <laughs> I think the Danby boys, the Foxic veterans, from the Team Foxic beforehand, Apex now still. And then there was one. Terror. Clear winner, Terra Hurts. Oh, wild. John's getting wild in there. Wow, Terra Hurts gone a little bit rampant here. Two robots have earned their place in tonight's final. Rapid, the self made millionaire with the best robot money can build. Again, Terra Hurts, the granddaddy of robot wars with that deadly axe. But only one can win. They started by showing no mercy to the youngest team in the competition. Yes! Before taking out the rest of their opponents in brutal fashion. Josh wants to hire any worthy opponent who can beat his robot. So has he found his match in tonight's final against the Grandmaster, John's Terahertz? Roboteers, stand by. Hurts with the axe rapid with that hugely powerful flipper. They do have that protection on top against the axe. You can see that now. Another sort of pillow hole! That surprised me. But John and Nick got caught on the floor flipper. With all their experience. And rapid senses, they can come in for the kill here. They're in underneath, Terra Hurts. Terra, big old hefty thing. Spinning on to life in this heat final. They need to get out there, though, from dead metal. And they do so, Terra Hurts. The protective shield on top of Rapid is coming away. Why isn't the axe being brought down by Terra Hurts? Have they run out of power? So far, Rapid has been a little bit squeaky, leaky, sneaky. In victory, off goes the protect. Oh, but slam, Terra Hurts. Into dead metal again. They're open, they're vulnerable. They were very nearly out. Oh, cool. They're in a horrible position. Square onto that front flipper of Rapid, and it very nearly cost them this final. Squared on to that 
front flipper of Rapid. Oh, now comes the axe. And they've been very wily here. This is the best Sarah Hurt we've seen, I think, we've seen over the years. Oh, and nearly toyed with what a final this is. One moment, one's on top, then the other. Now it's Terra Hurt doing the chasing and the bumping and barging. We have Arena Dodgers. We have Rapid trying to get in another flip of Terra Hurt. Yes, Andy, great hit. Come on. This is brilliant stuff. This is what Robo War's all about. This is about prestige. This is about precision engineering. This is about guts. This is about the glory of a win in Robo Wars for John Reed. Will it come? Will it come at long last? They're on the attack now. They push Rapid into the corner. They've got them in the clutches. But the house robot, Dead Metal, is out there pushing and trying to chip away. The Rapids and underneath. Terra Hurt. Is there enough power in the rapid flipper? I wonder at this late stage of what has been a gripping heat final. They tried to get the dial of doom working there, they missed. Oh, out they go at last. Brilliant final, but rapid ultimately tossed Terra Hurts out. Wonderful stuff. Rapid worthy winners. Well, 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 rapid. That was a very powerful, very controlled performance we had from you there. There was deliberate. Were you feel in control the whole way through? Actually, we managed to get a reasonably powerful flip out of it. But what you did, and, which, and what some that other people don't actually choose to do, is you use this arena yeah. tactically. You fed him to the flipper, you fed him to the flipper again, you fed him to the house robots, mm. and you basically tried to manoeuvre him around. Again, a deliberate idea? Yeah, 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 I think so. We were quite lucky to get under under the house robots as well. Absolutely. Well, I mean, it was, it was quite impressive, actually, I have to say. And you're into the grand final. I mean, are you going to keep these tactics up? Well, we might blow ourselves up yet. We've still yeah, got to find out. But that was a beautiful piece of control driving. Ladies and give it up for Rapids! Thank you.